Our ultimate goal, this being our third and final developmental trip to sea, is to complete the launch bulletins and the recovery bulletins that the fleet will need to utilize this airplane when it's out in the fleet for use. Specifically, we're looking to expand the envelope, adding external stores and specifically lateral asymmetries to continue expanding both the arresting envelope as well as the catapult launch envelope of the F-35C. As test pilots, it's our responsibility to go and, and do and see different wind envelopes and wind cells with these same stores loadouts before the fleet ever sees it. That way, if there are any issues, we as test pilots and as testers of the X-23, we want to see these first before the, uh, before the fleet uh, ever sees it. I think it's going really well. I think we're ahead of schedule, uh, kind of knocking things out of the park. I think things went, from my perspective, went a lot better than I would have thought. It's the ship, this company has been pretty phenomenal as working with us, allowing us to adjust as we need to to make sure we get, whether it's the wind over the deck or adjusting our schedule so we can make sure we get everything. So it's been pretty awesome working with the crew here on the GW. Ship trials are always fun. There are always things that are completely unexpected that uh, the ship throws in your way, and there are things that we do that we throw in the ship's way. And in the end, it's, it's that relationship that makes it work. great experience to fly the jet and so to come out here and actually get to fly it in the environment that we've been practicing in and testing it to was just a really great and exciting experience and out here with the external loads and asymmetric loads on the airplane it is almost imperceptible to tell the difference of the flying qualities of the aircraft between the two different configurations the jet compensates for it very well and it really makes the task to the pilot is seamless. We accomplished 121 catapult launches, 121 arrested landings, zero one wires, and we came out here and we got to witness VFA 101 do the first operational daytime carrier qualification where they came out and did about 120 arrested landings with zero one wires. So I really think the promise of the airplane, the handling qualities of the airplane, and the advanced flying modes really showed everybody what it's capable of doing. So F-35C, our first fifth gen fighter launching off our carrier decks, that gives us an ability that we haven't had up to this point. It should give us the ability to go first day of the war strike fighter again to execute the strike missions for the carrier strike group. And that's something, quite frankly, that, that we haven't had in a long time.